Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening, wherever you are all across the world. My name is Leaf, and as always, it is such a pleasure to be back with you guys. Yes, I am back from my very, very, it seems so long of a vacation because, you know, I was so long without you guys, but, you know, I kept up in the comments. Everyone seemed to enjoy all the videos I had lined up, but guess what? Leaf is back and Leaf is ready to roll. So let's just jump into it. Now, small showcase this week, all right? But I think this may be one of the best damn ones we've had in a while. We have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mods to show off, I think. I don't know, we'll count them as we go, but without further ado, we're just gonna jump into them. I think every single mod this week is absolutely stellar. This is like, we don't have that much quantity this week, but we definitely have picked it up in the quantity. And today we're gonna start it off with the stilt-legged duck. Now this one was made by Nardwall, Narwaller, wow, all right. And it uses the flamingo as a base, and already this looks stunning. Like, all right, well, it's a bit of a Jesus duck, so we're just actually going to move them over to the land so we can get a better look at them. But yeah, these guys are beautiful. They're Presbornis. I don't know. I don't really know how to pronounce the scientific name of it. I know you guys will yell at me if I pronounce it wrong, so I'm just not even going to pronounce it at all. But yeah, these guys are beautiful. This is a beautiful custom skin done by Narwhaler. And I just love how these guys came out. I love their little beak. It looks so cool. Like, I know paleo mods aren't really everyone's thing, but this one, it just takes a cake, is probably one of the coolest ones so far. Like, I just absolutely love how they look. And just watching them, like, swim in the water when, you know, they're not floating, it really is a sight to behold. And sometime soon, we'll figure out a workaround for that. Hopefully... I don't know we can figure something out when it comes to that, but for the time being, we can have our Jesus ducks. But you know what? I think they make a swell addition to Planet Zoo. And from up here, you know, they look just like normal. They they look normal, you know? And they, of course, like, we don't have any rig editing, so the stilt like a duck made perfect sense. Because, hey, it uses the flamingo as a base. Might as well just use those legs. But yeah, I absolutely love these. So amazing job, Narwhaler. I absolutely am floored. Now, we're gonna get right into, you know, probably my first favorite, maybe even second favorite mod of the week. This is the Capybara by Jen and Narwhaler, and already these guys have made such a boom on the absolute, like, all across the community. Everyone loves the Capybara so much. Look at their color variation first and foremost. It looks amazing. They are based off of the tape here, so obviously they're gonna use the water a lot. I love how these guys came out. They are the largest rodents on this planet, and I'll tell you what, they are the cutest rodents on this planet. I just love how they like sink in the water. I just love how they swim around. Look at him. He's like very much under the water right now, so it's kind of like he's diving, which, you know, apparently they can do. So yeah, that is really cute. Amazing job on that to the two of you. You guys are killing it. I'm a little heartbroken that Jen found someone else to help coder mods, but you know, whatever we gotta do to get more species in the game, it's amazing just to have nonetheless. And I will be helping her with the Patagonian Mara soon, maybe even tonight when I'm recording this, who knows, but yeah, we are experiencing a nice big boom of South American animals in this game, and I'm just so happy that we have them. So we're actually going to go all around over here. Now, Roof, Seth, however you guys may know him, he is killing it in the modding game recently. He recently just figured out how to how to code his own species, and you know, it's pretty much like, it's a terrifying process once you get into it. But yeah, this is the Wankano, so this is actually what the llama is kind of, you know, breeded off of. It's, a it's the non-domesticated version of the llama. It's a feral version of the llama, I think it would make more sense. But yeah, these guys are cool. They are perfect for any, like, South American exhibit. Now, Seth, I do want to point out a few things for you, buddy. You are learning every single thing you can in order to make this the best Moncano possible. These guys are quite a bit fluffy, so make sure you go over and blender with a little bit of, you know, trimming off of that. And you did forget to do the LODs. Usually, you can get away without doing, like, all the far ones, like, over here. If you just leave it as a llama, it's fine. But once you get up here, 
and you start to see that pop in that's the stuff you really want to watch out for and that's like that goes to everyone hell even i forget to do my lot sometimes so just keep an eye out for that and just make sure you focus on making these the best damn guys possible because i love them so much and soon enough we'll have the vicunia and then we will have the whole campbell family from north america in our games as soon as possible now we had our little break from the capybaras but we're gonna go visit our good friends narwhaler yeah just narwhaler and narwhaler has brought us possibly a very useful thing now this is the lesser capybara and i know all you animal nerds out there are probably saying oh my god there is no lesser capybara well i say i don't care and narwhaler says that too so haha <laughs> but no these guys are absolutely amazing i really do love how these guys came out they're just a little bit more different from gens but you know what they're perfect to have in the game and you know what i welcome as many small variations as we can because when you put these guys in the same exhibit hold on we're just gonna wait for him to kind of pop over here we're actually gonna fast forward over here just make sure we get these guys in here because i really do want to show off like the benefit of having multiple of the same animals being modded into the game but yeah these guys they look just a smidge different right all right they don't really look too different but they look a smidge different and i think that is incredibly beneficial for you know planet zoo and everything like that because when we have stuff like this Having these animals be completely different from, not completely, but having two different species of the same species, you know what I'm saying. It really goes to show like how dedicated this community can be to getting like the most amount of variation possible because unfortunately model variations aren't possible. It would have been really cool to have like caribou with different antlers and stuff, but for the time being, I am very, very pleased with the lesser capybara and I cannot wait to make exhibits for both of these guys not just one not just the other but both of them in the same habitat because that's going to be absolutely amazing to have so amazing job narwhaler you are a blessing to this community and thank you so much for all the time that you put into all your mods now i was away for the week and so was nick but you know what that doesn't stop us from putting out another mod for this showcase you know you can't get rid of us guys you know so this is the southern white rhinoceros and we've been holding on to this one for a little while this guy's been you know a lot of people have noticed that this guy's been hanging out in my little zoopedia but yeah these guys are ported over from zoo tycoon 3. now i know i know it's a sin within the whole zoo community to mention zoo tycoon 3 but you know what these are some of the best models we have ever seen for white rhinos and Nick ported them over, he did all the weight painting, he did like all the like minor model edits just to make sure it looks like a realistic white rhino. And yeah, everything is basically else from Frontier. I helped do all the coding for it. Unfortunately, we had a few bugs with like, you know, getting the translation files and all the lock files and stuff, but we found our way through it and these guys are now available for download. Now, I know we may be getting a certain Africa pack from a certain developer that may start with an F and end with Untier. But hey, you know what? If you guys want these in your zoos, go for it. Go grab them. They're also part of Nick and Mine's like unofficial Africa pack. And we're working on that with a lot of different creators and stuff. So keep an eye out for that as well. But yeah, these guys are glorious. I love them. They're beautiful creatures. Like after seeing some white rhinos in person, I can definitely like guarantee you their splendor matches everything that you see here in game. They're absolutely stunning creatures. So we're just gonna hop over to another part of Africa and we are actually going to visit a feline friend that I actually had the pleasure of seeing recently. And I think, oh, that's a little baby. So yeah, this is the African serval. And I absolutely love these guys. Who cares about the baby right now when we have the adults to look out for? And apparently, they are nowhere to be seen except for right here. Is that an adult? Yeah, that's an adult. So you guys may recognize these as like those long necked kind of like cats. 
but or long-legged i don't really know i don't really know cats too well but i really do know that these guys are absolutely adorable and mayor g put her heart and soul into these little kitties so i implore you all to go download these because mayor g is working tirelessly to make sure that you guys get the best animals possible for all your zoos so definitely go check these guys out they are absolutely stunning you just saw one zoom right by me they are a little fast cat so do keep an eye out for them because hey they may escape and hey i i'm leaf isn't legally responsible for any escaped animals so please do make sure you're keeping up with that now we're going to hop over to the forest of india and these guys were just released today oh no i'm gonna need to look it up so this one is by our lovely friends Gaboy and Giorno Pizza. And this is the Chital. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. Otherwise, it's known as the Axis Deer. And these guys are stunning. Oh my god. These guys are beautiful. I'm not sure what they're based off of. Probably the reindeer. But no, these guys are stunning. I absolutely love them. This patterning on them is beautiful to die for oh my god they're horns okay no they're not horns they're antlers leaf i know leaf you are an absolute bumbling idiot and you should stop making planet zoo videos there i made the comment for you you can stop writing it right now but no these guys are glorious i already have a little place in them for um foxborough zoo and i cannot wait to see how you guys use these guys in your own zoos because they are beautiful they're glorious and yeah just enjoy them here's the little female i love her she's absolutely stunning and here's the little baby because i know a lot of people have been asking me about the babies um i don't really let the game run that long before doing the showcase so it's pretty much a gamble if we have babies in here or not but yeah look at this beautiful little fawn i, I love her she's so cute but yeah, let's move right on. Now, Jorno and Mega Game and Rex. You guys have absolutely blown me away. This is easily my favorite mod this week. These guys are the Virginia Opossums. Or Possums, rather. And these I've been keeping an eye on these guys. I've been waiting for someone to make one. And here they are. They are these cute little woodland creatures. They're the only marsupial found in North America. And yeah, I just love them. I have no idea what else to say. Mega Game and Rexy did an amazing job on the model and everything for this one. It is based off the Binturong, so they can climb like you see right here. And yeah, I just love them. They are easily one of my favorites. And yeah, I just like they they have a place in Foxborough right when we get back in there. But yeah, I absolutely love them. So amazing job on that, you guys. And amazing job to all you guys this week. It has been an absolute stunning week. Let's actually see if we can find any more babies while we go by and I, you know, shout some words at you guys. So I think that might be a baby. Is that is that the baby? Yeah, that's the baby. So that's a little baby right there. So they are based off the tape here, so they have a little leg thing going on yeah look how cute their little face is I, mean, I just want to snuggle with them they're so cute but yeah are we getting any rhino babies i don't know but anyways guys amazing work this week i just want to say it's so amazing to see this community still growing and prospering and you know it was a bit of a slow week this week you know leaf leaf was gone nick was gone we haven't really been working too much we did a little vacation from this you know we've been working kind of hard but you know at the end of the day we're back and we're seeing a lot of other people making like these amazing mods and i think this week has the most useful mods not even the coolest looking not even the best not even you know these guys are the most useful capybars are perfect for any little zoo white rhinos are one of the most common like african animals you could have for like big ticket items i love them the serval is a nice unique addition and it looks absolutely stunning what else do we have the wanakos are absolutely great for south america sections guys these are perfect i love it so thank you guys so much it's been an awesome awesome honor to be with you guys all today we're gonna end on these lovely little chitals chitals i don't even know but hey it's amazing to have you guys back 
I'm sorry that there was no video yesterday, I just wasn't really... I couldn't really find the time to edit one of the videos I have pre-recorded. But, you know, that'll come out pretty soon. I am back home, I am comfortable, and I am ready to get back into the game with you guys. So, I hope you guys had the most wonderful day. I hope you guys had, like, the most wonderful experience looking at all these mods. Please let me know what mod you're hoping to get. Please let me know your favorite one from this week. It's been a while, so I apologize if I'm a little frazzled. I forgot how to make videos. So, yeah, have a great one, guys. I also forgot to how to end videos, so take care. Bye-bye.